Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alaki and if you are new here, thank you for stopping by. Today's video is a faith based content and I'm going to discuss about this topic. Who and what defines you? So, so powerful. Who and what defines you guys? Let's begin with who defines you. Can people define who you are? Honestly, I believe only God can define who you are. Only God can define who I am. So, that's so easy. That's so simple, guys. We don't have to, to struggle. We don't have to look for answers where we cannot find anywhere. We have to let God define who we are. And God only has the power to define who we are. That's so simple and so, so easy, guys. Myself, I used to let people define who I am. I used to let people define who I am. People used to tell me, you can never be this, you are this, or you are not qualified enough to be this person. And I used to believe in that. And I used to believe in what people used to say about me. I used to believe in what people were telling me. I used to believe what people were saying about me. And I realized that I was letting people to define who I am and that is not good. You have only to let God define who we are. So I used to let people define who I am and that was not something good. That's not something that I can recommend you. If people used to define who you are, just leave and you have to forget about that mindset to let people tell you who you can be, what you can do. Just let yourself God defines you. You are defined by what God says about you, not by what people say about you. Just remember that. That's so simple, it's so so easy. Let us remember that we are defined by who God says we are and not by who people say we are or we can be. So let us remember that and so so easy let us change the mindset to remember that always maybe people used to tell you about something or you never see yourself qualified enough you never see yourself do something you never see yourself be a certain person myself i used to believe in that maybe i'm not qualified enough to have a certain position maybe i'm not qualified enough to become that person maybe i'm not qualified enough to do what i can do to follow to pursue that career path so maybe maybe to doubt myself a lot and and mostly i used to believe in what people used to say about me because when people would say something about me I would start meditating on that, maybe believing in that. When people would say something about me, I used to believe in that. And I would start meditating on that, doubting myself, questioning myself. Maybe I'm not qualified enough to be that person, to follow that career path, to have that certain position. So I used to doubt myself a lot because of what people used to tell me and because of how I used to believe in those people saying so and that made me to doubt myself even more to doubt in God's capabilities to doubt in God's abilities to do things and one day I was reading a IG story of one person and that person was saying how she never sees herself qualified enough to be that person that she is right now and she said that you are not supposed to be qualified God called the unqualified it qualifies the cause so if you never see yourself qualified enough i never see myself qualified enough but i always remember that god does not call the qualified he qualifies the call that's also powerful guys we have to put our trust in jesus we have to let god define who we are so you may see yourself not qualified enough god qualifies the unqualified you have only to trust in god and to let him define who we are. Maybe you may see yourself doubting, you may see yourself faithless. You may not believe, you may not like have faith in something, you may not believe in God's word. God says, I remain faithful. Just let God define you. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. He remains faithful. He's a faithful God. The second point, what can define you? Honestly, I don't see if there is anything that can define someone. I don't see it. 
God says, I'm the one to define you. In today's society, people tend to define others depending on what they have, depending on what they possess, and that is... It doesn't have any sense. It doesn't have any sense, really. And sometimes, you see that some people tend to define others depending on their social status. It doesn't make any sense to me. How can you define someone by the car that person drives? No sense? You will see some people will try to define you by the house you have or you have a small house, you are poor. Some people will tend to define you by the car you drive. Some people will tend to define you by the clothing brand you wear, like, the cloth is cloth, whatever clothes you have, wear it. You don't have to wear expensive clothing brands. If you don't have that money, you don't have to, to store, you don't have to go and store money. So you have to be proud of who you are. You have to be proud of what you possess. So when people try to define you by things that you own, things you possess, things you have, that is not good and it is a pity. Our values don't depend on material things. Our values depend on who we are in God. Our values don't depend on things we own or possess. Our values depend on who we are in Jesus Christ and that is the only things. Let's not let the worldly things, the material things that are only contemporary define us. That doesn't make any sense to me. We are defined by God and not by what we have, what we own, or what we possess. In 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 3 up to 4 say, Your beauty should not come from the outward adornments such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is of great worth in God's sight. That's so powerful. God says we don't have to make ourselves, to define ourselves by outside appearances, you know? But we have to define ourselves in the inside. So, so powerful, guys. God doesn't want our outside appearances, but He wants our inside, our hearts how pure we are and that is so powerful it does not mean that we have to deny ourselves not but god says we don't have to depend on our outside appearances god wants our hearts how pure you are how we are walking in his path and that is all matters in god's sight the outside appearance is just a bonus so, this is the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much, and bye-bye.